My name is Chris. I want to welcome you to the Essential SQL Challenge. What I'm going to do today is walk through part of the online tutorial so that you become familiar with how it works. And then from here on out, you'll be able to take the daily challenges and feel very comfortable with how we go through the lessons. And each day, I'm going to show you how to learn a different piece of SQL. So let's get started. Alrighty, so what I did is I clicked on the link in the bottom of the email and it took me to the home page of our tutorial. And what I want to do is just go over some of the overview of the tutorial and we'll, we'll even run a first query here. And, and this is just to help you understand how things work with the tutorial. And then in an hour or so, you're going to see another lesson come through uh, where we actually start teaching. So this is just to get your feet wet. Now the cool thing is, is that you do, you do not need to install SQL on your computer. Everything we're going to do, you can do right here within the tutorial on these web pages. And I want to show you this right here where you can see where I have this select statement, right? So this is a command that you can use to query the database. You're going to find that the select statement is used a lot. It's, it's the command that you say to the database, hey, I need to pull information out of a table. So what I have here is really a command that's going to get the first name and last name from a person table. And we're going to go through all these details later. But the important thing to know, know now is, is that when I hit run query, it's going to send this command right here to a database. And then that database is going to go look up the information and it's going to bring back the result. So let's try that right now. So I'm going to hit run query and it comes back. And so then it brings back the names of um, people that are in this person table. Okay, which is good. And then if you want to see more people, you can you know page through the information here to see the results. Also, as you go through the lessons, there may be times where I'll ask you to try something, maybe add a column or order the information, uh, whatever the challenge is. If you're having problems with it, you can always show the answer to see how I've done it. So in this case, you can see the answer is just um, what we've already ran. But if you, for some reason, you know, accidentally came up here and messed this up and you go to run it and you get an error, you know, where it says, this column doesn't exist. You know, one way to fix it is you could just bring in the answer here and then just paste it back in and then run it and you get the correct query again. Okay, so that's a good way to run the query. As we go through the query, what we're going to do is go through the items on the left here. Now, I wouldn't jump ahead because as we go through the challenge, I am going to be sending out uh, a video um, accompanied by the email that will walk through the concepts. So this is to make it so it's very easy for you to understand how to work through all the ideas. The other thing that you'll see though is at the bottom of each of the lessons, and I will also have it within the, um, the email that I, I bring up, uh, additional resources where you can learn more. So if you want to learn more about how a um, certain topic is, that information will be at the bottom. I will point out right now that a really good page to go to on the Essential SQL site is this Essential SQL Getting Started page. Okay, And this page kind of becomes like a launch pad for a lot of different areas in um, the site. So it's a good place to, to bookmark. And you can see right here, it says getting started. And there's just a lot of resources that you can get to from this site, all sorts of articles. And then as we scroll down, there's even more. So this is a, a, a really good resource as you learn more and maybe get past this five day challenge where you can go in and learn more information. And also, I don't want to forget, if you're watching this from my email and not YouTube, you definitely want to go out to YouTube because I have tons of other videos out there to help you with SQL. So 
But for now, let's stay focused. We got this five day challenge that we're working on. And I promise you, with if you stick with me with these five days, by the end of this five days, you're gonna totally understand how this SQL works. And you're gonna go, oh, this is awesome, this is cool. So I look forward to working with you and you will be receiving another email from me rather quickly so that we can go in and start working on SQL. I'll see you soon.